Red versus blue. For as old as Halo is, there's always been a fight for supremacy, this time over the Halo Builder's Box. This thing took me by surprise quite a lot. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. Today, this is kind of part two of my Halo Builder's Box series. The first episode was a live stream build where the chat controlled what I built from this amazing box. I mean, this is 450 pieces of Halo goodness, and really, it answers that regular Mega Bloks question. I myself like to collect Halo for two reasons. To collect the world, and to make customs and dioramas. But then the problem is, if I'm collecting everything, where do I find the pieces to make some new vehicles? The answer is the Halo Builder's Box. You know, I don't like buying multiple pelicans and then breaking them down. I'd rather just have multiple pelicans. So this gives you a different alternative, 450 pieces, and a real way to customize your battlescape, build whatever you want. It's held together by this lovely little brick that slots in there, and it comes with two iconic figures as well. With an abundance of weapons, we've got the red Gungnir and the blue EVA, both with very different color palettes and even different colored bottom torso pieces. Like the EVA sort of has a dark brown color, and the secondary color for the Gungnir is more like a light gray. So they work fantastically together, come with these muzzle flares, so many weapons, new and old era, and I'm absolutely in love with these. But today we're not here to talk about the figures. You know, I love these, and I was very clear on that in my live stream. Today we're going to be talking about the potential to build whatever you want. I took on the challenge to use all 450 pieces of the builder's box to build some custom vehicles, some diorama pieces, all sorts, and I used all 450 pieces. There wasn't a single piece spared, and I came up with some things I'm pretty happy with. I hope it's showcases the builder's box really advertises why you should buy it. This is the first thing I built. This was the first thing that the chat actually asked me to build, which was like a tiny little firebase. I took some influence from the one that's actually included in this set, but this I've got a nice little ammunition crate in the middle. There's sort of like a generator piece on the top. I like this sort of swivelly turret. Maybe it's some kind of scanning beacon. And really overall, I like the mirrored base plates. I think the building box could have definitely come with more base plates, but what it did come with, I've used here. These are pretty much like the three biggest pieces. It also has some sandbags, which is really nice. And you can already see that that looks like a fantastic little diorama. And today I'm gonna show off everything that I've built. The next one I'm gonna need a spare figure for. I was challenged by the chat to build a plasma cannon. This was originally intended for a grunt, a nuclear plasma cannon. Here it is in all its glory. A nuclear plasma cannon. I mean, if anything shot some kind of nuclear out of it, that's that's pretty spot on. And only the Spartan could actually hold this, especially one-handed. So I'll pop that on there with his nuclear cannon. Absolutely ridiculous. There is so much to build in this set. Then I was challenged next to build a vehicle. I was told to build a scorpion tank, a miniature scorpion. You know, the micro builds have been so cool this year. They've had so many, like a pelican, warthog, all sorts. This is my micro scorpion, which, you know, I think all things considered, it's pretty good. It's got a swiveling turret, a little cannon here, four legs. I think the legs are a little bit too thick. They kind of make it look like a frog and it could be suspended off the ground a little bit more, but at least the legs move. And it's also got this sort of radar dish, whatever this clamp is, a little antenna there. I always like the fact that Mega Bloks includes lots of smoothed off pieces. Like it, it, I love to round off my designs. So this one, it's rounded off by the feet there. And at the front, we've got a couple of these as well. All in all, I think I think this is pretty good. I even included a bit of desert, sort of a nod to the original desert scorpion. And that is not the only vehicle. We have three vehicles today. We've got that scorpion. And I, I want to reiterate that all of this is made with one box. This is my micro mantis. <laughs> and this, I, I think it looks pretty funny, but this is actually the thing I'm most proud of. I mean, look at this thing. It's got movable legs. It's got a mount, oh, movable legs that come off. Come on, <laughs> keep it together. It's got a mounted machine gun as one of its arms and the other arm some kind of plasma cannon. I reckon it's like a rail gun. It sort of charges up here and then fires out towards the enemy. It's got a little homing beacon. It's all quite nicely rounded off and goes diagonal at the right points like leading up to the arms. The back of it also has some nice details. All in all, I'm actually very pleased with this build. I'm going to take a lot of this apart to make some dioramas with, but this one I might actually keep. Oh no, don't fall off. So yeah, this is my micro mantis and this was challenged for me to build again by the live chat. It was an amazing time. I'm going to be live streaming 
most weeks now. This weekend, I'm gonna be doing a unveiling of my new merch on a live stream. So I'm really looking forward to that. Look at this thing, pretty cool. So that's two of the micro builds for today. And the third one is a micro elephant. Close your eyes and imagine what a micro elephant might look like, because it probably doesn't look like this. Here we go. It is my micro elephant. <laughs> By the end, I think the chat was saying it was more like a micro garbage truck. But you know, all in all, I think this is pretty good. The wheels definitely need some work. It would be cool if they were caterpillar treaded, but this is still pretty badass. It's got a control panel here with two light up displays and this huge panel here. These are all included in the builder's box. And then I even used the Covenant deployable shield as sort of like, uh, I don't know, some kind of defensive piece on the front to save the driver from being uh, blown up. And it's got a little bit inside. Marines can stand inside because it's only two studs long. They can't really stand up straight, but they're still, they, they can still hang on. And I even sort of leveled out the sides. I moved them out a little bit, sort of adding some 3D depth to it. And this top bit, I imagine this is for loading and offloading like cargo. You could strap these on, like loop them through these holes. I've let my imagination go wild. You know, I've been really thinking about how this could be practically used. The other issue is the wheels aren't suspended enough off the main structure so they can't actually turn very well. They're pretty much locked in place. You can just push them along if you had enough pressure but they're definitely not designed for that. I'm going to be doing a poll after this video and you can vote on your favorite micro build. The next piece we've got today, I'm saving the best to last. This is a little outpost, like a little crow's nest. I like these small columns either side and it's very well smoothed off. I guess a little figure could stay in here and snipe outwards. It's got a foldable hatch at the back, keep the marines safe and then this is some kind of relay tower I imagine maybe a generator to power the rest of the base or maybe even it's like a big beacon station so if a sniper sees like upcoming troops it can relay out to the main base that enemies are coming so I do really like that one as well and I saved the best to last like I said and this was recommended again by my live chat this is a Craig the Brute memorial statue to honor the great Craig. <laughs> Craig the Conqueror. This is a statue celebrating Craig's legacy. Craig the Brute. You saved Halo Infinite, Craig. It's, it was all on you. The memes live on. Like, Halo Infinite is still in the discussion boards because of you. And uh, <laughs> I, I wanted to put this memorial together just to remember him. Because if 343 decide to remove Craig, like they decide to up the graphics and get rid of him, at least we've got this statue to always remember that Halo Infinite trailer with dear Craig the Brute. This is every everything I was able to piece together from the Halo Builders box for 450 pieces. How could you possibly argue with all this creativity or all this raw talent? Like, I mean, Mega Bloks, if you don't watch this video and hire me immediately, uh, there's something wrong. <laughs> if I was to pick my favorite, I'd probably go for my Micromantis. I do like this thing a lot. I think Mega Constructs could probably do a better job, but at least all of its limbs are moving. I love this machine gun turret and the plasma cannon. Everything else, yeah, it's pretty good. This dumpster truck could use some work. Mega Bloks, they really did show that with only 450 pieces, you get all that you need. Like they included two of every like regular piece I would use when I'm building a custom and I was able to utilize every single piece. Maybe to the best of the box's ability or maybe some people out there could do better than me. If you have built some cool structures using your Halo Builders box, then please tweet me or send me a message privately on Discord. I would love to see, I would love to share your builds. I'm gonna be running a poll straight after this video so you can vote on your favorite custom build. So folks, this was another video with The Domain. Thank you very much for tuning in today, and especially thank you if you tuned into my live stream on Saturday. I'm gonna be doing a lot more of those, especially this coming weekend. I'm gonna be revealing my new merch on stream and giving some away, so you should definitely check in for that. You can see a schedule of all my upcoming videos online. If you're not entered into our Christmas Toymation Fest yet, it's a couple of weeks until deadlines close. There's some epic prizes to be won, and all Toymation videos that are made will be featured on a video on this channel. Thank you very much for tuning in today. And Craig the Brute is my more oh no <laughs> oh no when the statue crumbles it's like the fall of rome come on craig sign the video off dot, 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 dot.